in this video tutorial i am going to design a lever arm so the given units are in inches first thing is that you must verify your units the given units are inches so in the status bar you can check the ips inches pound seconds are selected so we are good go to sketch and then start the sketching after clicking on the sketching the three plane will appear so we needed to select the front plane for our sketching plane select the circle tool and draw a circle like that and then again draw a circle from the origin of or the center of a circle now I am going to dimension this circle is 3.25 diameter and the inner circle its diameter is given as 1.75 Now I am going to draw the keyway feature on this circle. Just draw like that and then I am going to um, give the dimension to this keyway profile. This is point and from origin this must be in the middle so that why I am going to give the dimension for this line from the origin and this is 0.313 divided by 2 so it will be half and from here to origin this dimension is 1 and now we needed to remove this portion this arc starting from this point to this point we don't need it so I am going to trim this and select the trim to close it and now move your cursor on this portion which we don't needed it and it will remove that portion so it's trimmed exit the sketch go to isometric view and now I am going to extrude this profile and for the end condition I am going to select mid plane and this dimension is given as 1.5 exit the sketch now I am going to select the front plane and start the sketching on the front plane and make it normal so it will be normal to us now I am going to select the center line draw a line like that again select center line draw a line like that and I am going to give the dimension for this center line or the reference line these are our reference line so this dimension it's 3.75 and the angular dimension for this reference line so make sure your position will be that so it's given as 45 and the length of this line you must keep the dimension in that way avoid to add the dimension in that way we need it in, in in that direction so this dimension is given as 4 now I am going to draw sorry circle draw a circle like that and second circle like that and the dimension of this circle is given 1.75 and the diameter dimension of this circle is given as 2.5 Now I am going to add a line like that and again draw a line starting from here to this circle on that circle so I am selecting this edge but it's going here so I just draw like that and again align from here like that this way we just leave it now I'm going to add some relation so go here delete and display and delete relation and select add relation so I am going to add relation between this line and this circle and we make a tangent relation between them and again add relation 
between this line and this circle and add tangent relation between them again go to add relation select this line and this edge and make them tangent and again I'm going to select this line and this edge this edge and this line and make them tangent we can also add the relation by pressing the control and selecting this line and this circle and we make them tangent and again select this line press the control on your keyboard and select this line and select the tangent relation between them these two ways we can add the relation and now I am going to trim the unwanted portion so we don't so first thing is that I am going to select convert indentities convert indentities is used to make the edge line circle uh, of any 3d feature so this is basically our profile which we want to convert it into that existing sketch so this is the 3d portion of that uh, uh, feature so we wanted it in our uh, present or existing sketch so I am going to select this and select convert indentities it will make this uh, edge into the sketch this open sketch so go to trim indentities and select this line the extended portion of the line which we don't needed it and this extended portion of the line which we don't needed it and then select this uh, the, this portion this portion we don't needed it from here we also don't needed it this portion this portion and this portion so I am going to select this then select this select this and select this now all the unwanted portion is removed so the only sketches here from this point to this point of this uh, circle which we converted So now we needed this point on that circle. So we needed to add a relation, add relation, select this line and this circle and make the tangent relation between them. And again this circle and this this line and this circle and at the tenure relation between them now our sketch is fully defined again I am going to select the I am going to add two circles here now we did we needed to trim some portion so this portion we don't needed it and this portion we don't needed it this portion and this portion this is a closed profile now we are we draw the closed profile and exit the sketch then go to extruded base pose and again I am going to select for the end condition mid plane and and this dimension is 1 and exit the sketch now this design we just draw it and again I am going to sketch select that face and make the normal view and go to convert indentities now I am going to convert this this circle this line this line and this line so we made selection and convert it into the existing sketch and exit the sketch cut and make a through all cut so it will remove the portion now we needed to add some cuts on that surface normal it and draw a, I am going to select the center point rectangle draw like that 
and give the position dimension from here to here it's 3.75 this dimension is given as 1 and its square we can add a relation add relation select this line and this line and make them equal and we needed to make this point facing this point so I am going to select add relation I am going to select this point and this region and make the relation between them horizontal and again draw a circle select the circle and go here on that edge it will active the origin of this arc this circular arc or this, this circle we just did draw in in our previous sketch to activate the center I just select this and circle and go here on that edge it will activate this center now select this center and add the relation between them the diameter is 1 so our sketch is completed exit the sketch and now we need to make the extruded cut and give the dimension and condition through wall now the last point is that I am going to add a fillet for this edge and this fillet is given as 1.5 and click ok now the lever arm is draw we can change the appearance from this go here on edit appearance and okay